Hi, hello, welcome to a new video. And in this video, I will continue the reading Quran, and this is the verse that I want to start. Now that a messenger from God has come to them, and even though he proves and confirms their own scripture, some followers of the scripture disregard God's scripture behind their backs as if they never had any scripture. And uh, they pursued what the devils thought concerning Solomon's king kingdom. Solomon, however, wasn't a believer, but the devils were disbelievers. They taught the people sorcery, and they were sent down through the two angels, Babel, Harut, and Marut. These two didn't divulge such knowledge without pointing out. This is a test. You shall not abuse such knowledge, but the people used it in such evil schemes as the breaking up of marriage. They can never harm anyone against the will of God. They thus learn what hurts them, not what benefits them, and they know full well what whoever practices witchcraft will have no share in the hereafter. Miserable indeed is what they sell their souls for if they only knew. Here, they ma here the verse mentions witch witchcraft, and is this about like uh, I don't know anything about it, so to interpret this verse, I think some should know the the linguistics of the verse, but I just want to talk about it. So is there any chance, and the, the, the scientific thing mentioned here is psychology, because it says they learn breaking, breaking up of marriage. So psychology, uh, tricks, manipulations can help you to do that. Or otherwise, there are other things maybe, I don't know. So, let's continue. If they believe and lead a righteous life, the reward from God is far better, if they only knew. All you will believe, do not say, be our shepherd. Instead, you should say, watch over us. Um, and listen, the disbelievers have incurred a painful retribution. Neither the disbelievers among the followers of the scripture nor the idol worshippers wish to see any blessing come down to you from your Lord. However, God showers his blessings upon whomever he chooses. God possesses infinite grace. Um, so, they don't want God to do good things on you, they're jealous, I guess, disbelievers. And however, God showers his blessing upon the member he chooses. God possesses infinite grace. When we abrogate any miracle or cause it to be forgotten, we produce a better miracle, or at least an equal one. Do you not recognize the fact that God, the fact that, uh, God is om omnipotent? It means God can do everything, and uh, there is always a um, different ways to show how perfect God is. And I'm not sure what uh, the miracle means here, and I will, I will just skip that. But I, I think I can approach this this from uh, different aspects. So, and if this miracle is, um, if this miracle is God's uh, evidence, probably it indicates the evidence of God. And then um, it should be about like, um, things uh, things in the world that makes us believe in God, like how DNA is perfect or something, and the scientific progress demonstrates that there is a, there is a great, uh, great uh, perfect harmony in the universe. So, and if that is not such, there's no such settings, even if it's slightly changed, then the world can uh, be destroyed. So that's why it's important. And let's continue. Do not recognize the fact that God possesses the kingship of the heavens and the earth that you have known besides God as your Lord and Master. Do you wish to demand of your messenger what was demanded of Moses in the past? Anyone who chooses disbelief instead of belief has truly strayed off the right path. Um, many followers of the scripture would rather see you revert to belief now that you believe. This is due to jealousy on their part. After the truth has become evident to them, you shall pardon them and leave them alone. 
until God issues his judgment. God is omnipotent. You shall observe the contact prayers and give the obligatory charity, and any good you send forth on behalf of your souls, you will find it at God. God is seer of everything you do. Some have said no one will enter paradise except Jews or Christians. Such is their wishful thinking. Say, show us your proof if you are right. So, there are different uh, things about interpretations whether who can enter heaven. God knows, God knows it better, but God uh, says that you shouldn't believe other God and you shouldn't uh, do bad things. You should only dedicate your life for God. You should do good things. You should avoid sins. So then you can enter heaven. Indeed, those who submit themselves absolutely to God alone while leading a righteous life will receive their recompense from their Lord. They have nothing to fear, nor will they grieve. Yes, and the Jews say the Christians have no basis. While the Christians say the Jews have no basis, yet both of them read the scripture. Such are the utterances of those who possess, possess no knowledge. God will judge it. Uh, judge them on the day of resurrection regarding their disputes. So it's well known that their holy book is, um, their scripture is distorted and and quite like rewritten by humans, and it lost. It is a um, harmony, and it, yeah, you can understand that it looks like an article or something like human product, and it doesn't have such um, distinct character. And so that it cannot be God's, yeah, it can be possibly be uh, God's book, but it's obvious that they accepted it was distorted and played. And so, and some, some even discuss about the basics of the religion, whether, uh, I'm talking about Christianism, whether the God is human or, or also Jesus or some three people, so that is, uh, that is indeed a big uh, problem because it, uh, it creates conflictions. And like God wants you to pray for God, not for humans, not, the, not for tangible objects. And God says, I cannot be seen as objects. I cannot be, it is an insult for God. So, so that's why that is uh, the Islam, the last scripture. Uh, confirmed the previous ones and confirmed that they were distorted and pointed out their mistakes in the Quran and also mentioned those stories and uh, why uh, and uh, you shouldn't see it as an update so there are major major things in religions are all same like eating or uh, marrying or sins and but uh, the important point is like uh, look at the bigger bigger things like what God really asks you generally to change you in the real life so you should understand, really understand that, and then hopefully you will be in the heaven. And this is end of the video, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.